And there was some good economic news today for Britain's second largest supermarket, with Asda reporting good figures. Like-for-like like sales grew by 1.9%. Their market share increased by more than half a percent to 175 while the amount that people are spending per basket increased by 10%. Well, joining me now is Asda's chief executive, Andy Clark, who is a member of ITV's Business Club with Laura Koonsberg. Um, Mr Clark, good of you to join us. Thanks very much indeed. Um, you've upped your market share up. yet again there, although the growth is, is, is pretty anemic. It, it's good in tough times. Are you in a position to begin to expand your workforce as well? Yeah, I mean, we announced um, a couple of weeks ago that we were, with our expansion plans this year, we're going to um, employ another 5,000 people. So, um, you know, we're a growth business, and I think today, as we've announced our um, quarterly results and showing, again, strong performance, um, you know, we continue to be a growth company and so look to employ more people in 2012. Yep, as, as I say, and as indeed as you say as well, it is tough out there. You've also done this this work which you're calling the, 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 the mum dex, an index of, of yeah. how mums who do a lot of the shopping in your stores are coping, they simply have significantly less to spend. Yeah, I think, you know, we're very conscious of, you know, listening to our customers. It's something we do as a business. Um, the mum dex report um, just shares with us how um, mums are feeling. And I think what's really interesting from the research that we've shared today is that you know mums are as always resourceful and resilient and they're managing within their budgets they're finding it tough they, they, they can see you know difficult times ahead from an economic point of view but they're very you know confident about how they'll manage their own finances all right final question and just people at home will have watched there was a little bit of interference on the picture there we may lose the link to you but we'll keep our fingers crossed for the last question having listened to what mums are telling you and 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 i know perfectly well that the chance of the exchequer listens very carefully to people like you as well what do you think he should do with that little bit of room for maneuver that today's public borrowing figures suggest well i think you know um from an economic point of view, I mean, I'm a shopkeeper and you know, my role is to continue to serve uh, the customers that shop with us and so we'll stay very focused on price. Anything the Chancellor can do that can ease um, the economic outlook for customers is surely a help for all of us and um, the fact we can see some growth is great news for everybody. All right, Andy Clark, thank you again very much indeed for joining us this afternoon. Thank you, thank you very much.